Now on Radio 4 we bring you Bird Island, a new series about an ornithologist based in sub-Antarctica, written by Katie Wicks and starring Reese Shearsmith. Hello and welcome once again to Bird Island. Good morning, and what a beautiful morning it is. Oh, come on, you stupid... Oh, sorry, just trying to get one of these, uh, nutrition bars. Mm. Yes. Now, you're probably wondering, how can we ever get hold of cereal bars in a place as remote as sub-Antarctica? Well, we actually have a very good postal system with excellent link-ups to the UK. But I still have no idea where my box set of morse is. The mystery was almost solved when an email came through with the subject heading of Lost DVDs. But it turned out it was actually about the American TV series Lost. So the saga continues. Hmm. I wonder if Amazon delivers to the Amazon. Don't suppose they'll ever know. A mystery befitting Morse himself. Uh, well, I'll say that. Murders was more his thing than, uh, than shipping. Gotcha! Yeah, I yeah. know. Mmm. Mm, lovely. Yeah, now, some of our posts have been sent to one of the neighbouring islands by mistake. Can you believe it? A very pleasant woman called Manuela emailed me about this this morning from uh, Crescent Island. Oh, I don't believe this. Didn't win again. It clearly states on the packet, here we go, look, one in every six bars will be a winning bar. And yet, curiously, I've already consumed 12 this week alone, meaning I should have already backed two free ones. Now, I'm no statistician, I'm no ornithologist, but those numbers just don't add up. Oh, here we go, look. Made in Switzerland, it says here. Yeah, no wonder they're so efficiently wrapped. The Swiss are always such reliable manufacturers. You know, army knives, uh, high quality timepieces, conscription, the list goes on. Mm. Yeah. It's quiet here this morning. Don't know where Graham is. He's the winter base commander here. AKA okay, my boss. <clears throat> and, um, and Jane I recently joined us too. She's. She's mainly penguins. Ah! It'll be Manuela probably about the misdirected post. Mmm, seems terribly nice. Very apologetic about the whole thing. Let's give her a quick reply. Pick up in person. These things happen, not to worry. Certainly not your fault. Send. Ooh, that's quick. Oh. Oh, right, yeah, apparently it was her fault. <laughs> Awkward. Oh. oh, wow, this is steep. Oh, oh, double wow. Oh, that is steep. Uh, you see, um, we have something called path management here on the island, uh, which to the uninitiated simply means that well after years of scientists taking similar routes to the colonies, uh, there are several well-defined paths around the island. Uh, we now monitor the frequency of use of each route, and we try to find new paths to avoid excessive broadening. Uh, the same could be said for me, at the rate I'm getting through those nutrition bars. <laughs> oh, oh. But, uh, I think this route was slightly ambitious, if truth be told. Hello! <laughs> Ahoy there! Oh! Oh, man, hi! Oh! What happened to you? Did you, did you take a tumble? <laughs> what? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm fine, absolutely fine. Yes, I was just I was keen to take a different route to ensure uh, preservation, you know. You've got feathers in your hair. Uh, oh, have I? Oh, right, thank you. Oh, you've, you've got quite a few, actually, on your jacket, too. Oh, oh, well, you know, I'm just trying to blend in. <laughs> Morning, Ben! Oh, 
Graham, I thought you were doing the paperwork today. Yeah, I asked him to help. Yeah, Jane needed a hand with the penguin census, so... Oh, right. Well, I don't mind helping for future ref. <laughs> What's in there? Oh, yes, I, th- I thought you might be thirsty, Jane, so I brought you a flask of tea. Oh, Ben, that's very kind of you. Well, it is thirsty work. Yeah, you're spitting feathers, as my mother would say. <laughs> well, I'm the one doing that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Thanks, Ben. Oh, least I could do. Well, I suppose technically the least I could do is nothing, but... Uh, <laughs> well, uh, sorry, Graham, it's only got one cup on it. Oh, don't worry, I'm more of a coffee man myself. Great. Uh, well, well, I, I just came to inform you chaps, uh, really, that... Well, chap and chapette. Um, <laughs> uh, to inform you uh, chapatties. Um, no, doesn't really work, sorry. Uh, I just came by... What's that smell? I can't smell anything apart from penguin poo, maybe. Uh, are you wearing aftershave? Uh, well, uh, yes and no. How does that work? Uh, uh, well, I spilt some by accident before, and I think some of it may have splashed me and remained. Oh, right. Uh, smells do tend to carry uh, more in the Antarctic, Jane, as I'm sure you're aware, because the air is so clean. Um, mm, yeah. Anyway, I, I came by to say that someone has emailed uh, from the Crescent Island to say that there's been a mix-up with our post and it's been bloody delivered there. Oh, well, that's annoying. Uh, um, right, I'd better get on, actually, guys. I'll leave it to yeah. Yes, oh, yeah. yes. So I, I thought I'd go by uh, boat and uh, and pick it up in person. Uh, you know, it'd be nice to meet the neighbours, compare albatross population trends, etc. Was it a, a woman that emailed you? Uh, hard to say. Um, yeah, I think it was. I think yes. I think it was a woman. Yes. Why? No, no reason. Oh, right. Well, uh, it's getting on, so um, I'm going to go in earnest. Well, I, I think it's good that you're taking the trip so seriously. No, no, that, that's the name of the boat. After Shackleton. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm joking. I'm just letting you know which vessel I was taking is all. OK. Well, safe crossing. Yes, thank you. <sighs> right, well, I'm going to take a different path to the one I arrived on. Oh, bye, bye, Jane! Jane, bye! Oh, no. Can't hear me. Ah, right then, bottle of water. Check. Um, here we are, nutrition bars. It's an emergency. Check. And compass. Check. Uh, right. Oh, chapstick. Oh. That was close. Check. And, of course, flare gun. Right. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Um... <laughs> I had the strangest dream last night. Um, I dreamt I was being forced to drive a tractor at gunpoint. Right, anchors away. Uh, splice the uh, the what's it and all that. And uh, yeah, quite excited about this little voyage. Oh, oh, mother trying to get hold of me on Skype. Haven't really got time. Hello, Mum. Hello. I'm here. Uh, oh, Ben! Oh, Ben, you never guessed. Oh, right. Uh, you, you best tell me that if my guesswork isn't up to it. Mr. Mozzarella's gone missing. Oh, no, not again. Oh, but hang on. I've got Oprah in one ear and you in the other. Oh, she's finally visited Shropshire, has she? Oh, don't be silly, Ben. She hates flying. They're showing lots of old episodes of the mill. Don't you remember the one where she was regressed to a past life? and discovered she'd been Amelia Earhart. Who wouldn't that mean she liked flying? Well, people go off things, don't they? And anyway, so... I think she actually died in a plane crash. Oh, don't be so morbid, Ben. Now, Mr Mozzarella's been missing for two weeks now. If he was a human being, there'd be police everywhere, but no one seems to be doing anything. Not even the council were interested when I told them. I mean, what does all that council tax go on, is what I'd like to know. And it's not just any old cat. He's an Asian semi-long hair. Rubbish. No, he really is. We got him from Harrods in London. No, I mean rubbish collection. That's where the majority of your council tax goes, I expect. Oh, right. Well, well, anyway, you will keep an eye out, won't you? For what? Mr Mozzarella. 
I don't think he'll have crossed continents, Mother. You never know. Oh, has my package arrived? No, there's been no packages, Mother. I'm just on my way to collect the post now, so I'll speak to you later. Bye. Spread the word about Mr. Mozzarella. <sighs> well, it's been about ten minutes since we left the shore, and so far it's been plain sailing, literally. Oh, I have a little companion with me here on my journey. You probably can't even hear him. Uh, they, they hardly ever flap their wings, you see. Uh, they can just glide for miles and miles. He's been flying overhead since um, I left the jetty. Beautiful birds. It's understandable that these solitary creatures have always inspired such awe in sailors. Uh, it was actually believed that each bird housed the restless soul of a dead sailor. This one's sort of got white wispy bits. He's got to look at Captain Bird's eye, if I'm honest. Excuse me, that was my, that was my stomach. Hmm. Oh, don't believe it. Haven't won again. This is ridiculous. Let me look at the small print then. Plus positive stack foods limited. Well, it's nice to see the Swiss being positive about something. You know, after years of neutrality. <laughs> Sorry, just a joke my granddad used to make. I never win anything. Well, actually, I tell a lie. I did once win a romantic dinner for two on a Valentine's night. I happened to be single at the time, but um, they were jolly nice about it. They even let me eat both steaks. So rather than it stand as a reminder of one's enduring loneliness, I actually rolled home feeling pretty pleased with myself. <laughs> mm. I, um, I went out with a Swiss girl once, actually. I don't remember how it ended. Uh, but what I do remember is she had very googly eyes. Plus positive snack bar. It's all in French, I think. 19 vitamin essentielles. Minero. What does that say? For properties laxative. Properties laxatives. Hmm. Hmm. I see. Oh dear. Oh, dear. oh morning, Ben. What happened to you yesterday? They said you never arrived. Uh, yeah, no, no, it wasn't really a uh, really good day to be out on the water, so uh, I aborted uh, the really? whole thing. You all right? Jane said she saw you marching back to the unit base looking quite anxious. No, 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 I was probably just annoyed that my Morse DVDs haven't turned up yet. She said you looked very pale. The reflection of light from the snow, I imagine, uh, showing her lack of polar experience there, I'm afraid. Fair enough. Oh, these... Packages arrived for you this morning. Here you go. Oh. Oh, finally! My DVD. Oh, great. Ah. Let's have a look. What's this one? Oh, no. For goodness sake! Those posters. What of? Mr. Mozzarella. Sure. Oh, this is the last one. This is really good. Oh, oh yeah. yes. There's one where Morse dies at the end. Oh, brilliant! Oh, thanks a lot, Graham. Oh, that's ruined that now. Yeah, sorry, sorry, mate. Hello. Hello, yes, and I want to... thank you for calling Plus Positive Foods Limited. We're sorry we're not able to take your call at the moment, but please leave a message. Hello, yes, I wish to complain regarding your... Inquire about our newest range of flavours, press 2. Ooh, new flavours. Bird Island was written by Katie Wicks. It starred Reese Shearsmith as Ben, Julian Reintut as Graham, Alison Steadman as Mother, and Katie Wicks as Jane. The producer was Talusha Galani. And there's more from Ben and Graham at the same time next week.